it's uh, pretty early this morning and pretty freaking cold but Brooks and I are gonna head across the mountain to Tennessee where the Jackson kayaks are actually made and Orion coolers and we're gonna try to show you guys how they're made um, but as you can tell it's pretty freaking cold so we're gonna try to get some fishing in but uh, we may freeze to death first Yak Anglers Inside and Out is brought to you by Yakatech, Rigging the Dream, Jackson Kayak, We Make Fun, Bending Branches, Pretty Smart Paddles, Bats and Enterprises, Build the Fish, and Ram Mounts, Your Equipment Secure. On this episode, I'm joined by my good friend Brooks Beatty. Brooks and I have been traveling the country since we started working for Jackson Kayak a few years back. Well, this time we're gonna kind of head back to where it all started and we're going to the Jackson factory in Sparta, Tennessee to see how it's made. Brooks meets me at the house. We load up the truck. We make sure we have an empty trailer and we're gonna head out. All right, well, it's early and cold. I'm still halfway in my pajamas here, uh, but my warm pajamas came up the hill from Charlotte up here to where Jameson lives. And uh, I don't know, man, it must be a different world up here, but uh, I'm looking forward to this trip and I think we're gonna have a good time. Jackson Kayaks have been around a little over 10 years and they got their start making whitewater kayaks, actually a whitewater kids boat. Eric Jackson, the president of Jackson Kayak, is a world-renowned whitewater paddler. He's won multiple world championships. His kids have won world championships. And Emily Jackson just happens to be at the factory. So when we show up, we pull her to the side and we head over to the Jackson Ranch and she tells us a little bit about how Jackson came to be. So we're here at the Jackson Ranch on their back deck with Emily Jackson world champion whitewater paddler and you wear a lot of hats at Jackson amongst being a Jackson so you pretty much are Jackson kayak but uh, tell us like or tell the viewers here how Jackson kind of came to be how did you guys get into building kayaks well Jackson kayak started um, simply with my dad being a whitewater paddler but one thing that was missing from all kayaking was being inclusive mm -hmm. you didn't really see kids out on the water older people not too many people were uh, branching out to help you know, all different groups of people get into kayaking. Yeah. So it started with our very first boat being a max weight of 80 pounds. It was the fun one for my little brother. Tiny little boat. And uh, after that, we just noticed how excited people were to have the yeah. opportunity to get out on the water, whether it be kayak fishing, whether it be whitewater paddling, or just going out on a lake. Mm -hmm. Since then, we've just been trying to make boats to get anyone out on yeah, the water. Yeah, just kind of fill every niche that there is in the market. Trying to, trying yeah, to, it's yeah. really cool. Um, so you've been paddling since you can remember, um, and so tell like a little bit about your history in the sport. I mean, you're world champion. I mean, okay. Well, um, my dad was a four-time world champion freestyle kayaker, and so when we started, when I started kayaking, um, when I first started, I was really around you know six years old, mm -hmm. but I really got into it when I was twelve. Wow. And that's also when my dad started designing boats that fit us. So. Yeah. Since then, our, you know, our own personal paddling skyrocketed and my brother and I both were really lucky to follow my dad's footsteps mm -hmm. and win um, multiple world championships as well. Wow. So uh, just the personal paddling, just going out and having fun and that's really led us to yeah. most of our success. The paddlers and the fishermen are involved in the company, so you're not making products that are just to sell, you're making products that you use yourself. Oh, everyone at our factory uses them. Yeah. I mean, so that's so. just, we, it's really hard to explain to an R&D person why we have to make something better or change things yeah. if they can't actually experience what the difference is themselves. Mm -hmm. So by hiring people that use our products, you know, they put everything into the product knowing that um, 
in the end that they can feel the difference themselves yeah. and just instead of hearing it from consumers, you know, they notice the difference. Yeah, and I think I saw the banner in the factory literally says, build it like it's your own, because it is. <laughs> that's so. been there since the day we started. That's and awesome. that's because you're just a bunch of whitewater paddlers in a 300 square foot uh, old laundry mat. So, building your own kayaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After Emily takes us through how Jackson kind of got its start, we decide it's time to see how they're made. So we head over to the factory and we hook up with Damon Bungard, the product manager at Jackson Kayak. What's up? All right, gentlemen, welcome to Jackson Kayak Factory. Yep, Let's go for a tour. Here's some safety glasses. We're making kayaks in there. You don't want to get poked in the eye. Oh, yeah, so. plastic and ice doesn't work. Deal. Let's get it. Let's go. And there's a lot of plastic in here. A lot of plastic. A lot of boats ready to go get on the water. That's nice. Damn, he's not with us. Back and grab some things. So this is where the idea is actually put into work. That's right. So this is the R&D room here at Jackson Kayak. So, you know, this is where ideas first start to become reality, you know, and the first time it starts to see a physical shape is in here. So okay. whether or not the product's designed in CAD on the computer or it's designed by hand in here by Tony Lee or Scott, um, you know, this is where we first see a plug. So from, a, from an idea, we'll, we'll lay out the, the features in a plug. Um, that plug will be either to be shaped and formed from foam and then the skin over it. Um, that then plug is then used, we'll make a glass mold and prototype from that, and then that plug will be finalized and sent off them a mold made. And then once the mold is made, then we can come in and we can start making the actual production of plastic parts. So there's a lot of handwork. I mean, you have the idea, you have the computer drawing, but this is still old school. I mean, you're still shaping it by hand and filling it out. Absolutely. So there's only so so much you can do on the computer nowadays, and you know. Tony's probably shaped more kayaks than, than anybody. So, what boat are we looking at here? The future. Ah, you know, there's, yeah. always, there's always new models coming from Jackson Kayak. Um, well, they're on the wreck side, the fishing side, the water side. That's something new every year. Where's the is the jet motor coming later? I guess. It, well, the wings will come out they and they'll, okay. they'll fly. All right. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned for that one. So once it uh, goes from from concept to plug, and you send out the plug, this is what comes back: the mold. That's right. So once we have that design locked in or prototype that we know it's what we want, we'll finalize that plug and ship it off to the mold maker. The mold, when it comes back, think of it as two halves of a bathtub. Uh, they need to be framed up so they can mate together to make one contained unit. So we do all that work in-house, so we'll build the frames. What you see here is a frame around a mold. And the mold's made out of aluminum? Is that mold correct? made out of aluminum. And uh, how many working molds would you say Jackson has right now? I'd say 60 is a good estimate right now of active molds across the whitewater fishing and wreck lines. Jackson also molds a lot of other things like Orion coolers, barriers for road construction, playground slides, you name it, if it's made out of plastic, they mold it. So now we've taken it from concept to mold. You've built the fixture to hold the mold, and we're back here in the actual molding process is taking place. Right, so we're back in the molding area here at Jackson, and so we got ovens, we got molds, we got stuff rocking and rolling. So what's going on here is for every boat, you know, well, they'll have weighed out the amount of powder of plastic to go inside. They'll pour that in the mold. They'll seal the mold up. They'll load that mold via a crane into the oven. That oven, once it's in the oven, that oven's pouring in heat and that mold's spinning and it's going like this at the same time. It's getting plastic to go everywhere. Once the cooking cycle's complete, it's gonna come out. It's gonna go behind me here like on a cooling rack where that, that, the boat's gonna continue to shrink in a little bit. They're gonna pull out all the, all the mold and the inserts that we use for holding ramparts and different things. Those fixtures will come out. Eventually, once that cycle's done, they'll open the mold up. The boat will come out and go into a cooling fixture. They'll go around and we have a little mic and they'll ultrasonically test the amount of thickness of plastic in various locations on the deck and the hull so we know the plastic I remember we want it to be. So a lot happens back here. What right, happens back here? And the first step of quality control is the miking and checking the thicknesses to make sure they're right. Absolutely. So every boat's got its own recipe, how to cook it in the oven. Um, so we want to make sure that the ovens are working like we want, the plastic's melting and flowing like we want inside the mold. So the first step of the QC check start here. Once we've verified it's as thick as, as we want it everywhere, it's going to head out to assembly. It's crazy to see how many different kayak models and molds there are and to think there's only actually one mold for every kayak, so they have to continuously rotate those molds out. Along with rotomolding plastics, you also thermoform some of the parts that go on the kayaks, as well as thermoform some kayaks. That's right. 
So, you know, every kayak, there's a lot more to it than just what comes out of the mold back in the oven. There's, there's hatch covers, there's seat supports, the tuna, there's tuna tanks, things like this. So all of that tooling we make in-house, that's all cut and formed here in the thermoform era. So here, a, a sheet of plastic goes in an oven, it's heated, and it's pulled down via vacuum over a form, and the end result is you have the, the part there, then you cut it out, so it's assembled into the final product on the assembly line. So whether it's seats, bungee sections, or thermoform parts, those are all done offline and kitted, and then it goes to the assembly line for final assembly onto the hull. Yeah, but it's all done right here in-house in Sparta. That's correct. That's awesome. Let's take a look at the uh, the build-out. Absolutely. So one of the final steps before it actually gets packaged up and shipped out is the build-out. That's the key part. Yeah, you can't, you obviously got to build it up before you can ship yeah. it. So this is where this is the assembly area here. So this is where our hull is going to come out. All the, all the secondary parts are ready. You know, she's putting a hatch on the front of a skipper here. So this is where all the parts get built on, all the bungees, all the hooks, foot pegs, you name it. This is final assembly. They'll do the final quality check here, bag it up, send it to the warehouse. All right, so part, uh, partners like Yak Attack, Ram, uh, Thermarest, all that stuff kind of gets put together in the package right here. Absolutely. So, so we have all these great partners. So we have uh, Ram and Yak Attack, and then we have Thermarest, and you know the pros get Raymarine and Power Pulse. All those parts are assembled here and packaged together here, and then go into the final product before it goes into the warehouse. Let's uh, let's take a look at the warehouse. There's a lot of boats over there. A lot of boats. So this is where they're all staged at. All right, so everything's now been molded, been assembled through QC into the warehouse, and what you see here is kayaks ready to go out to our dealers. So it looks like there's a lot of boats just kind of sitting here that we have stockpiled, but really these boats are already spoken for. And basically vast, just, the vast majority of the boats in here are already spoken for. That's yeah, correct. that's crazy. It's a lot of boats. It's a lot of boats. How many kayaks do we ship out every year on average? I know we're growing. Yeah, right? we're growing. Um, so uh, last year, though, it was roughly uh, 18,000. 18,000 kayaks. Kayaks. People out having fun. It's good. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, well, thank you for your time. Welcome no to back. Anytime. If yeah, anybody uh, touring the area, feel free to come by and check it out. Um, one question, though. Have you seen Brooks since we came in? I can't figure out what you happened. No, he was here, and then I think he saw something shiny and just distracted him, and off he went. Always having to track that guy down. Well, it's been a long day. We've walked through the entire factory. I lost Brooks for a little while, found him napping. I think he just slept all day. I'm not sure exactly what he was doing, but it was a busy day. Yeah, it looked like you were really busy. You know, I don't remember sleeping at all. I'm pretty sure what he thought I was sleeping, I was really deep in thought and, and just some new conceptual designs that uh, I'm hoping to bring to the table soon. So we spent all this time around the factory and seeing these new, fresh, beautiful boats being made. And, and that just does something to my spirit where I need to take it and get on the water. And uh, so I was bugging Jameson left and right, like, come on, dude, let's get out of here. Let's go hit the water. So we load up the truck with a couple of brand new kayaks. We've got some Kilroy's, we got a Kusa HD, and we're ready to go. One of the cool things about Jackson as we're heading south is they have dealers all over the place. And the dealers are always welcoming and they always want us to come hang out and see what's going on in their neck of the woods. And Robert Baker at the Wilderness Way is no different. I met Robert several years ago, about the same time I started with Jackson Kayak, and uh, he put me and Drew on fish back then, and, and every time we, we could hit him up last minute or months ahead, and he's, he's always willing to lend a helping hand, and just, just a, one of the nicest people you know I've ever been around. To get out of the cold weather in Tennessee, we decided to head to Florida and hook up with him for the day and chase after some redfish. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? When we hey, meet up at the Wilderness Way, you, Robert's got Bill Goodrow with him that knows yeah, Hickory go. Mound like the back of his hand. Well, uh, we're following Rob here from the Wilderness Way, and uh, I don't know where we're going. We are in the middle of nowhere on this bouncy dirt road. We just crossed a bridge that didn't look that safe, but uh, he says there's fish at the end of this road, so we'll see.
doesn't take long and the bite is on. We started getting on fish. You know, Robert caught the first one, I got a couple. We were around fish and just activity all day long. I mean, it is so slick calm out there. You can't tell where the sky stops and the water begins and you can see every little push. So we're literally sight fishing these fish. tide starts coming out and it starts to get really shallow. Bill tells us if we're going to make it back to the boat ramp, we better go now or we're going to be stranded out there. So we head in after a great day on the water and a great day of fishing and hanging out with people like Robert and Bill and just seeing what they do in their neck of the woods is really what it's all about. And, uh, and honestly, it's one of the better days of, of saltwater fishing that I remember in a while. You know, I really enjoyed this episode because we literally got to see kayaks from powder form all the way out so they were ready to hit the water. And then we got a chance to actually take those kayaks and hit the water with one of Jackson's dealers. And that's what's really cool about Yak Anglers inside and out is the people building the kayaks are Yak Anglers, the people selling the kayaks are Yak Anglers, and the people using the kayaks are Yak Anglers. So when you put all that together, it's pretty awesome. If you want to see more episodes of Yak Anglers Inside and Out, be sure to click right here. You can also check us out at yakangler.com forward slash inside and out. Be sure to like, share, and comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's something you'd like to see. And we'll be sure to get on it. Until next time, I'm Jameson Redding, and I'm going fishing. Jameson. Man, he's leaving me again. Yak Anglers Inside and Out is brought to you by Yak Attack, rigging the dream. Jackson Kayak, we make fun. Bending branches, pretty smart paddles. Bats and enterprises, build the fish. And Ram Mammoths. Your equipment secure. Yep. Oh yeah. You're right up there. When I'm hurt, I choose the dark side.